So my name is Andre, Andre Sariva. My favorite thing is uh, doing graffiti. Write my name on the walls. That's my passion, my life, and what I like to do. Mr. Ray is my alter ego, and he takes care of watch, He watches my back. And I decline Mr. Ray in toys, surfboards. Like he goes, like graffiti goes everywhere, so Mr. Ray goes everywhere. What I did in the streets is graffiti. But when you take it home or you take it in a gallery, it's not more graffiti, it's something else. The nightlife was also part of the graffiti. I used to be out all the time to my graffiti and then the only places were open were clubs. We first did Le Baron in Paris. I met it with my friend Lionel. We said like we would like a place we could go every day and listen to the music we like and see the people we like. And Paris didn't have a place like that. Avant-garde itself. I love the work, the sound of the work itself. It's the opposite of the convention, it's the opposite of the system. And to be an avant-garde, it needs also a lot of courage. To show what's avant-garde, all these people took the risks and went really far uh, in their creation, uh, and not trying just to please everyone and to try things. So avant-garde is something I uh, relate to very much. And, and the people often around me, I need them to be creative and, and unconventional people. My best friend, as I told you before, Olivier Zahn. I think he's avant-garde. All his life has been surrendered by that. He always went to look what was new, different, and what was a bit anti-conventional. His magazine is avant-garde. It's uh, supposedly a fashion magazine, but uh, the fashion is just a pretext to, to, uh, to show all the creation and the creators in general. We're doing a lot of projects together. So the friendship is not just about spending nice time together. All the artists we like, all the designers we like, are also our friends. Most of the time I'm doing purple, I'm doing my magazine, but now doing the magazine is also uh, website, so the internet aspect of the magazine is a, is a full-time job, everyday job. Um, became recently, the past five years, a photographer. So there's more and more things to do. Uh, taking a picture is all about the interaction with the person. It's totally emotional taking a picture, so there's no... I don't have a technique for, for that. He's telling a moment. He's telling a moment of this group of people and this life we have. Some people decide to, to have a camera with them every day and record their life and, and be totally um, adapt to this non-stop um, creative uh, context. Uh, I'm an example of that, so I'm, it's quite an extreme position. People see me just as, as, a, as a big ego, but uh, behind this image or behind this surface, I truly believe that I'm working for something. I'm serving a cause, even though I don't know what it is exactly. So, and it's quite enigmatic for myself, but there's a reason, there's a, there's a bigger reason.